compared to last year, we're actually traveling. We're going to meet up with the rest of the family for the first time, you know, so it's a special moment. We're being safe. We're keeping, you know, masked and we're vaccinated. Yeah, it's, it's dangerous, but you love these people. You do what you can to stay safe around them, but also be around them because life is short. We're expecting this year's travel period to feel a lot like it did back in 2019, the pre-pandemic. We're expecting about 53.4 million people will travel. So that means you're going to have a lot of company on the roads. There's going to be traffic. And when you get to the airports, if you're flying, you're going to have a lot of lines. Gas prices are high, but they're definitely not deterring travelers. Once people have decided they're going to go, they go. They just figure out another way of budgeting in the cost. When I pulled in uh, and saw the gas prices, it was a little bit of sticker shock out here from compared to Tennessee. We did not travel last year because COVID restrictions and all, you know, all that, but, um, you know, we're confident enough and, you know, with the vaccine and where things at are now with, with, the, with the virus that, you know, we felt comfortable traveling. It's about 130 miles that we're going roughly. I actually hadn't planned to fill up here because it's almost $5 a gallon. So I plan to actually stop halfway where I know there's super gas and finish filling up there.